Really? <laughs> You're really bad at hiding your motive. Say, how did you know the earring was special? Everyone else thought it was my ability. Do I look that stupid to you? Your earring was glowing when those objects appeared. I was standing right behind you. It wasn't that hard to notice. Why, yes, of course. I feel bad for thinking so lowly of your intelligence, Mother Dearest. I see you can be pretty observant, too. This fucking brat. I didn't say I wanted to take it. I just didn't think that a child like you could keep such an important item safe. Even if someone took it from me, it's not like you could use it anyway. Why is that? Why? I was joking at first. Now that I think about it, I'm actually curious. The basic blood contract can be fickle. In theory, as my mother, you should be able to use it. So how about that? Want to give it a try? Hmm? Why is he insisting on me having it? I doubt he could be that nice. Is it some kind of trap? No, it's quite alright. If Noah gave it to you, then I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Are you afraid that he'll be displeased seeing you with the earring instead of me? I thought he hated me, even more than he hated you. Don't say that. Your father would never hate you. Pretty words. If you don't want the earring, then I'll take my leave. A shame. I actually was curious about the extent of the blood contract with an artifact. Wait! I also want to ask, did something happen between you and Noah? Hmm? Why don't you ask him yourself? Now that I think about it, it's pretty sad. This was probably the first time me and her ever got to talk one-on-one -on -one like that. She's always been the non-confrontational type. Always running away from the real problems. There sure have been a lot of differences this time around. Is it because of him? I wonder. Cousin Neil! Good morning! Need a hand? No need. I want to be useful and help out on my own. Oh yeah, Uncle Noah is fine now. Did you get a chance to see him? What's with that face? You seemed even more worried than me last night. Why are you insisting on acting so cold toward Uncle? He's so nice. It's complicated. You'll understand when you get older. You sound like an old man. Maybe I am. You aren't going to help with the preps? I will, after I get something taken care of. Alright, see you in a bit. Mom! Mm -hmm. I brought the boxes instructed. Thank you, Eva. You can give it to Wynn. Thank you, little lady. Do you need an extra hand? Uh, Parrish. What? Finish talking with your son? You saw? You were being pretty loud in there. It's hard to not notice. I take that it didn't go well. <sighs> that kid is a goddamn brat! He's impossible to talk to! Growing up in his situation, can you really blame him? Better late than sorry, Parrish. Neo is still a very impressionable child right now. You can still change his mind about you as a mother. It will take time, but as his mother, you owe him that much. Why is it always me who's always made out to be the bad guy? I just... Treated him like Noah treated him. This woman really has no self-awareness. Stop making it about who's the one at fault. Does that matter anymore after all these years? And look at the situation we're in. We don't need any more family drama to complicate everything. You're an adult, Parrish. Take care of your own problem. 